Welcome to GoLeopards.com and the uh, men's basketball uh, preseason media day. And we're here with head coach Fran O'Hanlon. And, you know, coach, it's, uh, you know, we start up again. You're a couple of weeks into practice now. And the last I checked, I didn't see you beat out John Calipari in Kentucky for any recruits. But after a 20-loss season, you're picked anywhere from second to fourth. Can you explain it? Well, yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure I can explain. I think with this year's uh, league uh, coaches, uh, just it's a it's a crapshoot, you know, for the most part. I think there's so many teams that have returning players. Uh, I think you could put names out of a hat, and uh, and I know that's how we were approaching it. Other than American, who has uh, and, and Army, you know, who have so many people returning. I think after you look at some of these other teams, uh, you could finish in the top couple you can finish in the bottom couple one thing that's always been a staple of your teams is uh, the the uh, the uniqueness of the movement on offense and um, you know it's a pretty high bar to set when you suggest that this might be one of your best overall shooting teams but from what I've heard and the little bit I've seen this team can really shoot the basketball we can we're not going to have problems scoring you know we have uh, we have We'll have three thousand-point scores uh, on this team with uh, Dan Trist and Seth Heinrichs and Joey Tuzinski if they all stay healthy. Uh, I'm just hoping they don't give up a thousand, you know, <laughs> or a thousand, a thousand and one. Um, but no, I, I I like how we can score the basketball, and that's something we've been emphasizing over the course of this uh, preseason. We have to do a better job, not just the defense end, but really rebounding the basketball, both uh, defensively and offensively. We heard earlier one of your uh, former players, uh, I don't know if you actually had a chance to coach him, but Matt Langle uh, from uh, Colgate was talking about your former partner, Fran Dunphy, and how fragile the game is. I don't think that was any more evident than last year when a key player went down for you, Fran. It really seemed to have a ripple effect on the team. There's no doubt. We're so dependent on each other, you know. It, and and I said to the team, it, it, it could have been somebody, it could have been Joey Tuzinski that could have had that same ripple effect or, or Dan Trist. So I, I don't know. Obviously, Seth is a terrific player, but I, I just think it, we're all uh, components of each other, and, and we really need to stay healthy as a group. Yeah, not every uh, a, a team operates that way, and uh, you know, as an old timer and a basketball purist, I love to watch you guys play offense. Let's uh, switch gears a little bit, Coach, and uh, you have a freshman this year that I think might have an impact, uh, which is unusual for you because your system is a little complicated. It's difficult to learn. There's a learning curve for the freshman, uh, but the big kid from South Jersey uh, is is making an impact. Well, I think that he has a chance. You know, uh, uh, Matt's in a different posi position. Uh, that four or five takes. You know, there's so much. That goes through them they have to understand the system but he does uh, or after two weeks he's showing the potential he still needs some work he still needs to come along uh, and but the fact is that when we lose Dan last year at times or he gets in foul trouble we're gonna have somebody I think that we can put in there that we know can get some scoring out of and some rebounding he's a good basketball player and, and that's what we're looking for is good basketball players yeah there was one year and I'll let you go after this one coach but there was one year when you graduated I think it was Rob Delaney's year when uh, uh, Jimmy uh, Jimmy Maurer graduated Ryan Willen graduated and I had a chance to talk to you in the offseason and you were concerned and the quote was I lost all my teachers you're not going to suffer that uh, 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 problem this year because so many of the guys back uh, they have a working knowledge of what you're trying to do out there there's no doubt and and this year having four seniors and you know the importance of having upper-class leadership guys that are on the court and playing having Seth and and Dan and Joey Tuzinski and Alan Flanagan who have had a lot of games under their belt and they they've been through this it's a uh, it's invaluable love to talk hoops with you coach wish we had more time good luck I know you gotta get back for practice pretty soon and uh, good luck this year we're here at the uh, Patriot League Men's Basketball Media Day, and with me is uh, senior returning uh, uh, captain, Seth Hendricks. And uh, Seth, uh, you know, you've been such an integral part of this program for such a long time, but now you're a senior. Talk to us a little bit about how that changes things for you. Uh, I think just being a senior, you got to be a, a better leader. Um, you know, when you're an underclassman, you gotta got to lead by example. Um, and as a senior coming in, you know, you got to be more of a vocal leader. Obviously, leading by example as well, too, um, but just a vocal leader. And you got to bring it each and every day in practice uh, and in the games, too. Talk to us a little bit about how you've seen the team evolve in the first couple of weeks. Obviously, your running mates, uh, you know, Joey Tuzinski and, and Danny Trist, it's, it's a tremendous senior leadership. we got Bryce Scott coming back uh, and, and, of course, uh, uh, the new addition with uh, Matt Klinuski on the inside. But talk to us a little bit about, a little bit about the progress of the team um, and, and what your impressions are. 
Uh, I think the guys are focused coming into this season. Um, you know, finishing ninth last year, uh, everybody, it kind of left a bitter taste in everybody's mouth. Um, so I think this year practice has been really good. Pickup in the fall was really good, and workouts were, uh, were great as well. Um, bringing in guys like Matt Klanuski, Eric Stafford, it only adds to our roster, uh, adds to the team, and just makes us that much better. So it's, it's bred a, a lot more competition. Um, guys are getting after it in practice, uh, working hard, and uh, I think I think that'll benefit the team greatly. You know, uh, I've watched Coach O's system for so long now. It, it really is. Uh, there's a, the nuances in the offense, in the movement. There's a big time learning curve for the freshmen, as you might remember from four years ago. Oh, yeah. How do you see Eric and and Matt and 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 the newer guys uh, adapting to it? Eric. Uh, has sprained his ankle, so he wasn't in the first week or so of practice. So he's uh, a little bit farther behind the learning curve. Matt's been in the whole practice time, and you know you can tell those guys are really skilled, uh, really talented. Um, but you know it's a complex offense, uh, and so it's taken a little while for them to kind of catch hold. Um, but I think they're doing a lot better than most freshmen have. I I, I know they're doing a lot better than I did, and then a lot of my uh, teammates have done. So uh, it's been really good to see them kind of pick up as quickly as they have. But you know they. Still got a, still got a ways to go. Absolutely, and uh, one more thing, uh, 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 Seth. We, we uh, obviously, when you went down last year, Coach and I talked about the ripple effect the team they had on have on the team. But you also were playing with a freshman point guard who had to be out there. He was clearly a talented player. But in talking about the complexity of the system and all there is to learn, pile on top of that the fact that you're the quarterback of the team. It was kind of a double whammy. How's Nick doing? How's the jump in for him from freshman year to sophomore year? Uh, I think Nick has improved a lot over the offseason. He's he's bulked up as well too, gotten a lot stronger, uh, and he's still just as fast as he was, if not faster. So I think um, just the experience from last year was great for him. Uh, and you can tell already in practice he's done a great job of being the floor general and uh, just kind of getting everybody to where they need to be and uh, done a great job distributing the ball to everybody uh, and, and scoring and finding his spots to score. Um, it's a testament to his work ethic, how hard he's worked this offseason. His three-point shooting has gotten a lot better. Uh, and he, you know, he's just invested a lot of time um, into basketball, and you can tell it's, it's, it's paying off right now. It's an exciting proposition because a team that's coming off an uncharacteristically uh, you know, losing season. I mean, you guys just don't lose a lot, and uh, uh, it's exciting to think about the fact that all the kids you got coming back, all the players you have coming back with a good knowledge of the system, their leaders back, their point guards a year older, you got a big kid in the middle, um, you got to be a little confident, you got to at least be optimistic going into the season. Oh yeah, our expectations are really high, you know, even after finishing ninth, we, we knew the potential we had last year and we know the potential we have this year, so I think, you know, if we can stay healthy, we're going we're gonna to compete in this league for sure. You know, if you can catch it and you can shoot it and you can think, you can play for Coach O'Hanlon. This is a young man that can do all of that in spades. Seth, thanks for joining us. Good luck this season. Thank you. Back to you folks. Thank you again for tuning in to GoLeopards.com.